Hello and welcome to this mod first look video. Today we're going to be looking at the Okarama Kane 300 by SMA Modern Team. Let's get into it, let's go. So first up we'll take a look at it in the store. It's under soil cultivation, under cultivators. Come down to the bottom here, the Okarama Kane 300. It costs 21 grand. Now you can see a beautiful, a beautiful model by... Uh, SMI modding, really nice, really, really quite intricate. Loving the detail we're getting, it's absolutely beautiful. It is a three meter working width. It has a working speed of 10 miles an hour, which probably works out to be about 13, 14 kilometers per hour. Uh, requires a uh, power of um, 130 to about 200 horsepower. That's what we need to really pull this and work this. And it has a 1.5 metric ton is what we're getting there. And that is really cool, really nice. Now, I believe, looking at it, we've got hydraulics coming here. So I think this back section lifts. We'll find out what the purpose for that is as we, uh, as we get a closer look at it. So let's get one on the farm and take a closer look. So we've had an Okarama Kane 300 delivered to the farm. Got the torch out because the morning light really isn't very good. And again, we can get right in now. We can see the details now. The springs on here. Look at that extra detail in that. The springs, the nuts, the bolts. I love it. Even down onto all the separate parts and fittings here. The spades as they go in on the shanks. Really cool. Uh, we've got sing single row of discs, um, sort of inverting in on each other to give us our soil back nice and even. Really quite nice. I'd say this is uh, three meters. We don't have any tines after the. Uh, I always call these the wheels. Doesn't look like there's any tines, although there's there's some some little tines going down between the wheel. Probably help smoothen that out and and get that going. But yeah, really nice, really liking this. I get right in here and have a look at the hose details and things. And but we've, we've even got some, some details on there. <laughs> the hydraulic hose types and sizes and pressures. Absolutely brilliant. The detail is amazing. I think that these pop out, I believe. I believe they pop out. Because why would that be on the side there? Let's get this hooked up on the back of a tractor. I do have a case, um, I believe it's a 155 or a 180 over there. We'll, we'll get that hooked up and uh, we'll have a little look at this in action. So I've brought it over to our harvested field on the back of the 185 and now we can get another closer look at it here. Hopefully you would have seen the animation once we connected and uh, the the tool was risen. We could then unfold and that brings out the warning signs. Got a little indicator still there as well and also uh, lifts that up for transport. Leaving the deadly shanks out on display but that is really nice. A nice little touch. Really nice. I like, I like that. I like that. I'm liking the tools that we're seeing. So again, if we unfold, I'll bring the warnings in. It'll drop that down ready in our working position. Get ourselves onto the field. And there we are, ready to rock and roll. Get our cultivating. Bring up our stones. But we're getting that nice, clear, cultivated look. Now, our roller on the bottom there, does that allow us? No, we've got no extra. Hmm. Ah, wait there. There it is. So, that's, it's working as a front, it says front load of tool but it's our rear loader so us getting the the rollers down ah 
so we can do that manually. If I bring that down further. Let's see if that changes anything. I don't think it will. But they are now effective. Because we're pretty much just shanking it to start with. So I like that they're a they're a separate they're a separate part there. So you have to so again, if we unfold that, that's like that's that's getting a, a deep shank in there. That's more chisel. A shallower, shallower cultivation, and then setting the soil for us. That's cool. I like that. So what did I say it was? Ten mile an hour working speed. Let's just test that out. Ten mile an hour. There it is. They, they, it feels so quick. I don't know why it feels so quick. I feel sure that like four or five feels plenty for me. I'm getting older. I don't like going fast. But yeah, we can see everything rotating now. The discs are turning with the soil. I don't see that that goes any deeper with that lowered, but it's all turning. All very nice. Great detail. You can see all the individual springs going with each of the uh, each of the shanks there. Which is really cool. I'm sure there are many machines that are doing that as well, but I've just not looked at them. I'm enjoying looking at these mods. I'm going to try and do a lot more of this. But yeah, that's cool. And again, I just want to... So we can lift. And it doesn't give us a different texture, I don't think. But we've got the roller down without the disc. So we can put the disc back down. We can have the disc without the roller. So if you know a little bit more about agriculture than I do, and you want to work that sort of thing into your role play for a specific job, then that's really cool. I like that. That is really nice. And hopefully you enjoyed it too. That was our first look at the Okarama Kane 300 by SMI Modern Team. I'll give you a quick run for it again. The Ocarina Crane 300 is a 3 meter cultivator with a wide range of use. Whether for shallow stubble cultivation or intense soil cultivation. So that was what we got there. We could do the shallow or the intense by raising the different tools. Absolutely brilliant. 21,000. Comes under cultivators. That requires 130 to 200 horsepower to use it to its full effect. Has top speed of 10 miles an hour and it says that's 17 kilometers per hour there in the, in the deets. Working with the three meters, I think that is absolutely brilliant. Love it. I love the detail on it. I love that it's got those different aspects of work and mode. I guess we could call that for different uh, soils, different terrains, and different purposes. Absolutely brilliant. Like I say, hopefully you've enjoyed it as well. If you have, give it a big fat thumbs up down below. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, turn the bell notification on, find out when new videos are going live. As always, comments and feedback down there. You guys have a wonderful day, and hopefully I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.